All right, so the United States celebrates Hog and Economist Day on January 31st each year. Now, it's obvious that um, this day was meant to show your affection for economists, but we like to think it also encourages, um, it also encourages um, us to learn more about economics and how it affects us. You know, so this day, whether the devil likes it or not, this year, I'm going to hug it, this economic, the subject of <laughs> economics. Yeah, because I think for people like me, and I think in our own generation that we're really science inclined, mm -hmm. mathematics, chemistry, and all of that, we just completely, Ignore we're not interested in anything about business studies, finance, accounting and finance, you know, and all of that. And I'm seeing how it's affecting my my bank account these days, you know, as seen how it's affecting me as a businesswoman. Yeah. You know, a lot of us don't pay. I remember a friend of mine that had told me many years ago that she does not miss. So she reads New York um, Financial Times mm -hmm. and she reads The Economist or something. She, she does not miss it, not one single day. And that lady is super, super successful right mm -hmm. so we we need to start paying attention to financial literacy in terms of so you know how you, it broadens your mind yeah, it does. so when you now have certain kinds of income you know where to put it where it will yield and mm -hmm. all of that basically i mean today i saw a, 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 a post online the the guy held 200 dollars and said um these are the companies to invest amazon you know tesla facebook and all of that mm -hmm. how many people yeah. understand that as little as that you can start to earn They've even done that in Nigeria. There's you understand? So many, there's MTN. There are a couple of companies that sell you shares and all that. You from. can actually buy into. Yeah, but I mean, this makes a lot of sense. Encouraging the day because it, you know, knowing about all of these things help you, you know, understanding the trends before you go into any business endeavor, any make, before you make any decision. Understanding the analytics and the trends, mm -hmm. and you know, somewhere to go back to say, okay, how was it in 2020 and 21? Yeah, or how yeah. was it in 1995? And what's the direction? And what's the direction? Mm -hmm. So it just helps you not lose money, it helps to also stay informed. All right, so let's quickly breeze through. Let me start with you, NJ. Your story. Um, so my story is about the um, incident that happened at a Joy Labor. Hmm. Um, this is coming days. I think that incident happened on Sunday, on Sunday the 29th. On Sunday the 29th, on, um, there was a trailer, a truck. That fell. And the, the uh, what would I call it? The, the damper bus. No, there was a damper bus and then there was a truck, that, a trailer that was carrying, that had a container on it. Yeah. Yes. And there was an incident between the truck driver and the, and the trailer and then the container fell on the bus. Crushed. and crushed about nine people ten, ten, actually. ten now so um you know the story for today the you know the information that um this the the registration number of the vehicle um ktu 921 yd um killing nine occupants in the process and one survivor so now it's complete that they were all survivors all um losses Oh, it was a total loss. You know, so this story uh, is so interesting because a friend of mine just called me today. He was on his way back to the island from the mainland. And said right in front of him, right in front of him, he just saw a truck container carrying, a truck carrying container. Falling. No, that it was, first of all, swerving. So immediately he noticed just slowed down. that it was swerving. He just gently slowed down. Guess what? The thing completely fell, fell. and block, blocked yeah, up the entire road. So all of them started turning mm -hmm. back right in front of him just imagine if he wasn't even paying attention you know my mom always gets fidgety when we are driving beside all of these containers mm -hmm. you know her fear is valid mm -hmm. because a lot of these people there is a standard procedure for putting a container oh, on yeah. a truck they're never supposed, supposed to, to be lashed they are supposed to be speed limits they're supposed to be so many things they're never supposed to no, climb down the bridge don't, don't you, let's even leave don't bridge even you know they don't, do you understand let's even say this um, what's it called? Trucks. Before they leave wherever it was that this, they loaded this container, shouldn't there be standard on. procedures? Right? And this is why sometimes I'm upset with road safety. You see me, you arrest me. Somebody that is driving with a broken tray, yeah. tray, 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 tray with most of them, if you see them, their tires, they have, they're supposed to have like eight tires. Yeah, you will see like four of those tires they, condemned completely. Yeah. And they're the inner ones. Yeah, the inner ones are so always So how do we solve yeah. this problem? In, in fact, this Audrey <coughs> Legba bridge, it's a... Has had several like incidents. That's 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 I remember a couple of months ago, my former boss almost lost her life on that bridge because of the way the, the, the road is even just a mess. Then those trucks are not supposed to be climbing that bridge. 
So imagine that all of them, the bridge falling down on in oh jeez. I can imagine. And I, uh, from pictures, from what I can see from the pictures, there were hey, kids, like there were two children, children, children. I think about three, three fe um, females, four males, one boy, one young boy, was, one young girl, and the driver. Was the bus driver also struggling with him? And then no, now no, have gone those too. Ones, so those ones. I think so the only person that would have survived would have been the conductor because on a good day would have come down from the bus. No, the, he's was was actually part of the people that died. My goodness. Wow. Let's take um, your story, Larry. Sad. Oh, okay, so my what's in the news? EFCC arrests new Nair note holders in Abuja. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission have said have said it uh, it arrested members of the. Syndicated of currency uh, racketeers holding and trading in the redesign, uh, trading the redesigned naira notes in Abuja, according to the EFCC spokesman William Williams, the operation were carried out in Zone Four and um, of, of the Federal Capital Territory in Abuja on Sunday and Monday. And he noted that the operation follows the, the investigation activities <coughs> and anybody that is actually caught hoarding or exploiting citizens by offering them the new Naira notes for foreign, uh, of, um, for foreign currency or for the use will be arrested. So I'd like you to pause <coughs> on your story. Let Mary take her story. I'll mm -hmm. take my story. Then we'll just take a break and, and come follow. back to the Okay, then. Go ahead, Mary. Okay, uh, my story is from the ex-BBN housemates, White Money. He said he attended a party and 700k new notes was sold for 1 million. So the person was making a profit of 300,000 naira just to sell the new naira. Wow. While way? people are fighting at the ATMs for this money, some people are joining at parties <coughs> freely or you know making a cut out of it. I mean, I don't know what to say on that, to be honest. Let me move on. We are coming back to this story. All of them will take one after the other. Bank will accept old notes after deadline. At least this gives me a bit of relief. Why that we will not see all the madness. Why didn't they even start with that? You understand? That we will not see all the madness that you guys just read out, right? <laughs> so um, the CBN, of course, he, he said the banks will continue to accept old notes from customers after the deadline of February 10th. And he said this, um, uh, talking to the House of Representatives when he was appearing before the ad hoc committee that was set up by CBN, um, by the House, rather, on the CBN Nara redesign. Although he did not state how long the expired notes will be admitted by the banks. You know, so the Speaker of the House of um, um, Representatives, Badabia Miller, had accused the CBN governor of breaching Section 20 of the CBN Act, which, according to him, mandates commercial banks to accept old notes even after the deadline so after the expiration date such um, naira's note change will no longer be legal tender but it also says that even five months or three months or two months then even in june all the notes presented to the bank shall be redeemed by the bank that was what Bajabi Amila was just giving him back his uh what did the column his section of the constitution for the cbn act so We'll come back to all of this because, again, we have seen the, yes, they have just released this. But before this, it has caused a lot of things. Mm -hmm. What Mary took, what you, your story, they are all tied to the, the drama that we're seeing yeah. that is associated with the Naira notes. And that's what we would like to hear, even your thoughts as well, you know, what you think about all the, this fiasco, we call it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.